Well, five at five tonight on Compass. A pleasure to welcome Island Olympian sprinter extraordinaire. You got to catch him because he moves fast, and we have here's Jared Connaught. And welcome again, Jared. Hey, Bruce. Uh, every time I read about you or or see you on the news this year, it's either gold or silver in 200 or 100. Um, the year has been good, has it not? Uh, it's been competitive. Um, 2008 was faster. I think at the end of the day, like my my personal best and season's best were faster. But um, 2010 has been like really, really competitive against the best in the world. So that's that's always good. We've talked about this a bit before. You're 25 years old. For many sports, like tennis, you're in the midst of your prime. Mm -hmm. Hockey too. You still have a ways to go though before you peak, if all goes well, right? Uh, peaking is it's like a general term. I, certain athletes peak at 20, but uh, a training partner of mine. Darvis Patton's 33, and he, he set a personal best last year, so hopefully I can follow that trend. You must feel down deep that your best is ahead, though, especially given what you've seen this year. Uh, the biggest thing with extending your career is just staying healthy and just taking care of yourself when it matters most, being smart and just listening to your body, and uh, you, know, you can extend your, your career. Linford Christie was 36 at the Olympic final in 1996, so... Uh, if I can follow that trend, it would be a good career, I'd say. At the Nationals last week in Toronto, mm -hmm. you win the 200 and, and finish second in the 100. It doesn't get a ton of, of TV play here. And my question to you is, are you a bigger star in Europe, where track and field is massive, than you are in your home country of Canada? Um, in PEI, I'm a bigger star than I am in Toronto. And um, that's just the way it is, and that's the reality. But I've been in Europe coming home from a, a training session where there's 30 40 fans waiting for athletes in the lobby and and there's been a few times where i just said there's no way anyone's waiting for me but uh you'd be surprised and it's um the the fans are very appreciative of our sport and appreciative of um a competitive athlete and that's and that's sort of what i've uh, done well at uh, producing the season so it's nice to have that uh, admiration from from fans worldwide yeah bottom line is that at or or fans in europe know jared connaughton from canada don't they yeah, it's funny. It's uh, I, I raced in Ireland in um, about a month and a half ago, and uh, I think there's like an Irish connection because my last name is is uh, of Irish descent. But uh, I, I had the biggest uh, applaud in the whole place, and uh, it was it was really a special time for me to to compete there and to get such such love. It was really neat. Hey, to, to the extent you want to answer this, take take a roll of this. Can you make a good living doing what you do, finishing as high as you do consistently? The big thing is just staying competitive. Like, if you show up to a meet and you run well against the best, then the the potential to get invited back to the meets where if you win, you make $50,000, that increases. So uh, I'm not going to make the money Bolt does, but um, I can stay healthy, compete well, uh, compete uh, competitively. Yeah, it's 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 a living, and it... it running around the track for 10 seconds of work and making thousands of dollars for running for 10 seconds or 20 seconds is, is kind of silly in the, in the big picture, but it's, it's a good way to make a living. And so you're making money doing what you love to do, right? I, I love to run, and it's, it's great to travel the world and make, make a bit of money on the side. So it's Let's wrap up by talking about uh, one of the things that has brought you home. You're going to work with Island Kids next week. Mm -hmm. Give us a sense of who, what, where, when. Well, I, I've been working with uh, John Herelt. He's a, a family friend, and he's, he's sponsored me over the last couple of years, and he's sort of started this, this campaign of helping sort of elite athletes build a legacy here in PEI, and this is the first step in that process for me. So next Wednesday um, from 5 to 9, I have a camp going on at the Stratford uh, Soccer Facility, and it's, uh, it's open from uh, all age classes right up from like 12 to 13 years old, right up to 19, 20, whatever. And yeah, it just help uh, sort of spread the word about how beneficial track and field is to, to all athletes. G give me a sense if someone comes to that camp, they're going to meet you, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, photo op? Yeah, photo op, uh, dry fit shirts, uh, just an opportunity to see how uh, an Olympic athlete trains and warms up and develops sort of uh, a spatial awareness and like a body control. And that, that's, that's the big thing is just learning how to control your body in, in all situations athletically. So. One last one for you. I know you're on record as saying that the track at UPEI is pretty much as good as it gets. What do you think track and field will be in a few years on PEI because of that facility? 
that was the real sort of jump off, I think, for the legacy of the sport in PEI. It was like we needed a track. It was, that was the plain and simple thing. Um, I think the tough thing about track is there's, there's an old saying is track and field is your sport's punishment. So to run around the track day after day after day um, for, like I said, 10 seconds to 20 seconds of work, take, it's a lot of effort for very little um, competitive uh, advantage. Like let's say a soccer game is 90 minutes long where track 100 meters is 10. Um, but it's a great sport. It's taken me literally all around the world and met some amazing people. And uh, it's a it's a great sport. So I, I can't say anything um, much more than than it's it's a wonderful thing in my life. And where you want to be, right? Absolutely. Hey, Commonwealth Games. I know you've made the team. Congratulations there, and thanks so much for making time for us on uh, campus. Of course, anytime, Bruce. All right, Jared Connaughton.